Are you a machine? I am a humanoid social companion. What do you know about me? You are an eminent computer graphic. Introducing Nadine, the incredible Kokoro robot. Explore the captivating realm of state-of-the-art technology as we uncover the intricate mechanisms that power these extraordinary machines. From facial expressions to body language, these robots have mastered the art of behaving just like us. This revolutionary creation not only possesses the ability to comprehend and display emotions, but it also comes equipped with a dynamic chat box, an impressive memory, and an advanced decision-making process. Not only does it need to have the ability to recognize objects, but it also needs to have the incredible power to grasp them just like a human would. In order to truly excel as intimate companions, social robots possess the ability to emulate human behavior in every aspect and possess a deep understanding of real-life situations, enabling them to react appropriately. This level of authenticity is crucial for their success in providing companionship. Today, we have a very special topic to discuss. The incredible journey of none other than the sensational Nadine. But who is she exactly? Before we dive into the nitty gritty, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Professor Nadia Magnet Talman served as the inspiration for the creation of the gynoid human social robot known as Nadine. The skin, hair, and hands of the robot appear to be genuine, contributing to the robot's striking humanoid appearance. Nadine is a socially intelligent robot that is capable of returning a greeting, maintaining eye contact, and remembering all of the discussions that have taken place with it. It can respond on its own in a variety of languages to questions asked of it, and it can mimic human emotions through both movements and facial expressions, depending on the nature of the contact it has with the user. Nadine is able to recognize people it has seen in the past and carry on natural conversations with such people. It is possible for Nadine's demeanor to shift in response to different things being said to it because it has been programmed with the personality. When it comes to facial expressions and movements of the upper body, Nadine possesses a total of 27 degrees of freedom. It recalls specifics about each individual it has interacted with in the past, including events and data relating to that person. It can help people with special needs by reading books aloud, displaying photos, putting on Skype sessions, sending emails, and communicating with other family members. It is able to perform the duties of a receptionist at an office or become a dedicated personal coach. During the exhibition Human Plus, The Future of Our Species, which was on display at the Art Science Museum in Singapore from May to October 2017, Nadine engaged in conversation with more than 100,000 of the museum's guests. During her time in Singapore, Nadine served as a customer service agent for the AIA insurance company. This is the first time anywhere in the world that a humanoid robot has been put in charge of providing customer service. Nadine is a humanoid robot that belongs to the next generation and is the successor of Eva, a humanoid robot head that Hanson Robotics manufactured in 2008. The Mira Lab at the University of Geneva was responsible for the development of EVA's software platform. EVA's mind displays feelings and emotions as well as short-term memory with a high degree of realism. In addition, EVA has been on stage at the Road and Fabric Theater in Zurich in a play. Kokoro, a Japanese company, came up with the idea for Nadine in 2013 and based her appearance on that of Professor Nadia Magnin Thalman. Nadine has a head and a full body, and she appears to be completely natural. The Nadine software platform, which was developed at the Institute of Media Innovation at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University, has the ability to display a range of emotions, talk in a natural manner, comprehend certain gestures, as well as recall and retrieve information during conversational exchanges. In addition, Nadine communicates through arm gestures. Ongoing research will eventually equip with social robot with two movable hands that are capable of naturally grabbing, and additionally, Nadine is connected to a wide variety of databases, including its own personal dataset, Wikipedia, many weather feeds, and a great number of others. The social robot known as Nadine was constructed using a tried and true structure consisting of perception, processing or decision, and interaction with layers. 
The design of the Nadine platform with the goals of retaining human-like natural behavior even in complex situations, being generic enough to handle any kind of data and place in the operation, multilingual support, and so many more. The functionalities of Nadine can perform are dependent on her comprehension of the surroundings as well as her perspective of the users or individuals that are in front of her. This endeavor has captured the attention of Nadine's perception layer. Nadine gathers visual and auditory inputs from her surroundings and users by employing a 3D depth camera, a webcam, and a microphone. The perception layer is made up of a collection of autonomous sub-modules that interact with various input streams from the aforementioned devices in order to identify things like faces, feelings, gestures, user position, intention, behavior, and so on as well as other environmental variables like object recognition and placement. The processing layer acts as Nadine's brain, analyzing the inputs from the perception layer to determine how best to respond to the circumstances at hand and deciding what those responses should be. The Behavior Tree Planner is the primary element of this layer. This planner is what enables Nadine's central processing unit to process all perceived inputs. The Behavior Tree Planner is responsible for updating the sub-other modules of the processing layer based on the inputs that it receives from the perception layer. These sub-modules include the processing of dialogue between the user and Nadine, the effective system, and memories of her interaction. In order to process conversation, generic chatbots that can respond appropriately to a variety of scenarios and questions have been developed. To answer questions that are not covered by the trained corpus, an online search that is powered by Google Assistant has also been integrated. Nadine is able to demonstrate varied human motions to the user based on the user's words, emotion, and Nadine's present emotion. In order for her to offer responses that are appropriate, Nadine's memory model also enables her to recall specific details about the user as well as the context of the discussion that is now taking place. After gaining a grasp of the user interaction and the context of the environment, a decision is made regarding whether a verbal or non-verbal answer is more suitable. In order to achieve this goal, the processing layer in Nadine's brain assigns each perception layer stimulus an activation and a threshold. The activation levels can vary due to the fact that they are dependent on the processing of each stimulus by their respective submodules. When certain thresholds are met, each winning action is moved on to the interaction layer, where it displays the numerous responses that Nadine has to offer. The interaction layer, also known as Nadine Controller, is in charge of putting each of the responses that it receives from the processing layer into effect and displaying them on Nadine's face or body. For instance, based on the location of the user, adjust Nadine's head such that she keeps her eye contact with the user. In addition to this, the interaction layer is in charge of managing her motors so that she can display a variety of distinct facial expressions and motions. It features a speech synthesizer as well as a module for lip synchronization so that it may respond verbally. The generated phonemes and visemes are directly proportional to the verbal answer. While generating speech, the speech synthesizer also takes into account the tone of conversation. Lip synchronization works by translating Nadine's visemes into comparable facial motor positions so that her lips can move in time with her speech. At the moment, Nadine is able to support a total of six different languages. These languages are as follows, English, German, French, Chinese, and Hindi. Nadine has taken part in live demos on stage and has engaged in conversation with people from a wide variety of backgrounds. Nadine, a humanoid robot that has been hailed as one of the most lifelike in the world, made her debut in public for the first time as a central attraction at the exhibition Human Plus, The Future of Our Species, which was presented in Singapore's Art Science Museum. She has had conversations with a large number of people working for major films in a variety of fields, including Dentsu Ages Network, Credit Suisse, and Dusha Bank, among others. During his historic visit to NTU Singapore on June 1, 2018, which was one of the innovations that Prime Minister Nasendra Modi took a great interest in, Nadine also had the opportunity to meet with him. His Excellency Narendra Modi is the current Prime Minister of India. As countries around the globe grapple with the trials of an aging population, social robots emerge as a shining beacon of hope. 
These incredible machines offer a solution to the ever-shrinking workforce while also stepping up to become personal companions for both the young and the elderly. But wait, there's more. In the future, these remarkable robots may even serve as a platform for revolutionary healthcare services. So buckle up and get ready for a future where social robots take center stage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting content. Catch you in the next video.